Welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie and I am back. I am back in the Amazon Influencer Program and I am so excited to be able to share with you some really cool things that I found this week. So be sure to like and follow and let me show you the amazing things that I found for you. So before we get started on this list, I just wanna let you know that I am going to tag everything that I'm telling you about down below. So if I tell you about something and you think it's interesting, just look down below. The tag will be right there, just click it. It will take you right to my store and you can check it out yourself. First thing we're gonna start off with is these really super cute Adidas tennis shoes. I have been seeing across all the little sites that I visit that black Adidas are gonna be very, very popular. They have all sorts of different price ranges. Some of them are fancier than others, but this tennis shoe right here, this is a good tennis shoe at I think a very decent price. You can wear them with no show socks difficult for me to say or you could go back more to like the 80s and you can get higher socks and then you scrunch them down super cute seeing that everywhere but check out these adidas tennis shoes like i said they're going to be all over the place i've been wanting a pair of boots like this for ever and i'm super excited i found them and yes i bought myself a pair these are a durango boot and they come in brown and black absolutely love the squared toe i love the detailing on the side and i like the simple fact that they're a pull-on boot i'm going to wear these with either like my leggings on the inside my jeans on the outside with skirts with dresses i am going to wear these boots a lot they've got good reviews I know I'm gonna have to break them in, but that's no big deal. I break in Doc Martens all the time. These boots are gonna be broken in quickly. I'll let you know when I get them, but for now, check them out. I think they're super cute. I love a good boyfriend distressed jean. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. Boyfriend distressed jean, love them. My favorite kind of jean style and I found this Morgan it's called the Morgan jean I have them in blue and in black and I'm a fan I absolutely love these jeans they have a stretchy material they're just baggy enough to kind of have that boyfriend jean feel but they're not so baggy that I feel that they're not sized properly I love these jeans check them out um, I recommend them I would give them five stars I think I have reviewed them and I think I did give them five stars but I love but like I said check them out I think you'll like them too I'm a huge fan of puffer jackets but sometimes I'm not really a huge fan of the puffer jacket style real slim and long and zippered up I like a little diversity I like a puffer jacket that's a little bit looser fitting so you can wear it over sweaters and sometimes not as long I like a little bit of a shorter puffer puffer jacket and I found a really cute one here for you I think it's priced well it has some really good reviews so if you're thinking you want a puffer jacket but like myself you're not really a fan of that real slim fit long puffer jacket it is a good variation of the puffer jacket it's a good I don't know just check it out I can't think of the fancy word that I'm thinking about Just because I have gray hair doesn't mean that I don't like to play with color. I typically will put either a silver or a purple in my hair. I've been using Arctic Fox and it's actually really easy to use. It's not messy, it smells great, and I like the outcome. Try this out, it is actually really cool. It washes out, it's semi-permanent, and if you try a color and you're like, oh, I don't like that, be proud of yourself for trying something new, let it wash out, and then just try a different color. But check it out and let me know what you think. All right, what I found in housewares is this cool Bissell little green machine. You may or may not know, but I have a little puppy named Indy and puppies need to be potty trained. Yes, she's had some accidents. So we got this Bissell green machine and it's amazing. It works really well. It's super easy to use and it does a great job. 
So not only can we do like little spot cleaning on the carpet, but it has the attachments. You could use it in your car. It's just a really cool thing to have in your house. So I recommend this Bissell little green machine. Um, I thought it was cool. If you have tattoos or if you don't have tattoos, I'm a huge fan of Mad Rabbit sunscreen. And let me tell you why really quick. Sometimes, I don't know if you notice this or not, but you'll put sunscreen on and it kind of gives you like that filmy, almost like a white film on your skin. And yay, you're using sunscreen and you're protected, but it just kind of feels I have found with the Mad Rabbit that it doesn't give you that filmy white look and if you do have tattoos it actually makes your tattoos brighter which i think is super cool so with or without tattoos i have to tell you i do recommend the mad rabbit sunscreen and i have it listed here a lot of times people ask me like lani what kind of foundation do you use and i actually just use a bb cream and i use this one here from maybelline i get it in a medium tint i absolutely love it i wore foundation for years and years and years i found that the older i got i would be outside and i would like look at myself and i'd be like "Ooh!" i would be really kind of dried out looking and my fine lines and wrinkles would just be like oh here i am it's like a moisturizer a sunscreen and like a foundation so i got it and i never went back absolutely love it and here it is this is the one that i used and i wanted to share it with you if you're experiencing the same thing you know what i highly recommend it if you don't have that problem i still highly recommend it it's really cool it just makes me feel like i'm wearing makeup without actually wearing makeup We're gonna round up my finds with two things for Halloween. I've recently decided to rewrite my story and embrace Halloween. I've tagged that video here, so, or there, one where, it's gonna be around here somewhere. I decided to celebrate Halloween this year. I found two things I wanted to share with you. One are these pillow covers. Now, I love having decorative pillows for the holidays, but they are such a pain to store. I found these pillow covers. What a great idea. If you already have decorative pillows, just find these pillow covers, put them over the top of them, and you can decorate for the holiday. I thought that was a really cool idea. I'm gonna get a pair myself, but that's why I wanted to share them with you, but I thought, well, that's pretty cool. And lastly, after you watch this video, wherever it is, you're gonna know that I tried to buy a candle and I accidentally bought body scrub instead. So I got myself a pumpkin spice scented candle. This one, every single review gave this candle five stars. And yes, it's a, probably a little bit more expensive than the other candles, but I mean, it has all their reviews are like, this is the perfect candle. So I have to see what that perfect candle is all about. So I'm ordering this. That way my house can smell like pumpkin spice for Halloween. And I think that that's pretty cool. Those are the finds that I found this week on Amazon that I wanted to share with you. I would love to hear your feedback. Did you like what I showed you? Would you like me to look for other things? Do you have any comments? Do you have any questions? Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And again, please remember everything that I just mentioned and everything that I just showed you, doo -doo -doo, bloop, 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 will be all tagged down below. So you can just find what you want, tag it, takes you right to my store on Amazon. And as always, you know what I'm gonna say next. Please remember to like and follow, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. My ego really got into the way this time, and I cannot express enough how important it is for us to really understand the difference between making that right decision and making a decision based on our ego. And I have to tell you, I mean, I struggled. I struggled in the beginning, understanding the concept, understanding how to do it, and I just didn't have the time. And I just wasn't in a spot where I could really be like, wow, Lonnie, you know what? 
this is going to be harder than you thought and it's going to take some time and dedication so instead of taking that time and dedication i just took the easy road and i'm just like yeah no i'm better than this i don't need to follow your stinking rules and it ended up turning around and, and actually biting me because i lost i lost six months of progress so really quick remember take a quick look at the decisions you've made make sure that they were not ego based if they were revisit them and see if you can um, undo it just remember it's never too late to undo some things in life and if you can and you want to i suggest you try and you do it